in the last decade or so, there have been a number of developments that uh, have a potential of revolutionizing plasma science and technology. And these include the ability to manipulate plasmas on a nanosecond time scale. Plasmas are ionized gases. And there are very hot, fully ionized plasmas in astrophysics and stars. Our weakly ionized plasmas are plasmas similar to what we use for lighting. They are quietly underpinning the IT revolution. One of the most exciting new potential applications of weakly ionized plasmas is that in next generation reconfigurable radio frequency electronics to be able to tune the properties of radio frequency systems from big antennas to our cell phones to different frequencies very rapidly. The need for rapidly reconfigurable radio frequency electronics comes from the fact that our radio frequency spectrum is increasingly congested. There are too many different sources operating at the same time at very close frequency bands. If you have a plasma television, you know that it consists of many, many plasma pixels. So you can very quickly reconfigure that pattern to draw any picture. If you make your electronic device in such a way that incorporates a number of those small plasmas, such as plasma pixel in plasma television, then you can turn some of them on and some of them off. So you can tune that very rapidly to any frequency you want in principle, in a very wide frequency range. So this unprecedented ability of controlling plasmas and manipulating their properties I am sure would result in multiple other applications, various coatings, various materials that have unique properties and are made using plasma. My advice to students is not to lose sight of your goals. Yes, you will have to work hard and study hard, and what you have to do and study doesn't directly relate to your goal, but it will contribute to your goal. Do not get discouraged, and always keep in mind that this is your goal and you will get there.